You know what, guys? Some things just never change. Some things just never changed. Shad Khan decides to keep Trent Balky as our GM. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? This was the most obvious thing to not do, is keep around the stink around this organization. I gave this guy the benefit of the doubt. I was telling people on Twitter, look, there's no way Trent Balky is back. Because Shad Khan, while he's been an owner for 10 years and had a lot of failures, he's going to know that, look, he's going to learn some things. He's going to know, like, look, I did some bad things here, but this is one thing I'm not going to do is keep some stink around this organization. But what a dumbass I am. Because Shad Khan goes out there and did the impossible. Did Like, read the room, dude. How are you going to keep around Trent Baalke around here? It's just, it's just so beyond me. This guy is just such an idiot, man. This guy is just such an idiot. We knew what this organization needed. This organization needed a full entire reset. Not just a tweak. Not just a, okay, let's move Urban Meyer and keep everything else the same. It seems like that's what we're doing. Like, Trent Baalke has a terrible reputation around the league. A terrible reputation. He never has good relationships with any head coaches, whether it be the, the ruined relationship with Jim Harbaugh, hiring on his own head coach with Chip Kelly and Jim Tomsula over there with the 49ers. Apparently in Jacksonville, the word was that he wanted to bring on Urban Meyer, and that relationship was terrible. There was word that he was the one that was throwing out the different leaks. You know, he was involved in all that. And now the Jaguars decide that they want to retain this bum. God, it's just like, Shad, how, when are you going to learn, bro? When are you going to learn? What a terrible, terrible, terrible move. I cannot support this. I'm just so tired of losing, man. Shad Connor owner, if you were to combine all 10 seasons that he's been a Jaguars head coach and put an average on it, his average record is 4-12, and 12, man. It's been terrible. He's been a terrible owner, and I have the ultimate love-hate relationship with this guy. I love him because, look, he was the only owner that was going to keep the Jaguars in Jacksonville. You know what I mean? The other owners were wanting to move the team to L.A., to Las Vegas. He was the one guy that was going to keep the team in Jacksonville. And look, he's helping build infrastructure. He's building practice facilities, shipyards, all that stuff. He does want what's best for Jacksonville. But him on the football side of things suck. He's terrible. He knows nothing about football. Sorry if things started to get choppy with this video. My camera's having big issues, but I might be a little bit choppy. But like I was saying, I tried to give Shad Khan the benefit of the doubt because I just don't understand how he can be so successful with so many different parts of his life. But the part that affects me so much has just been terrible. It, it's like the, the, the product on the football field has been by far the worst in the NFL. And this guy has owner's meetings that he has to go to every year. And he has to come in there as the biggest loser every single year. Anybody with any bit of pride would go into that and want to all of a sudden turn things around. I can't imagine constantly being the biggest loser in the room. But that's what he is. No one cares about car bumpers, about wrestling, or about whatever hell he's doing in his life. All that matters is the football team. And it's been god-awful. It's hard. It's, it's, it's so tough. And I'm not even the person that should be feeling the worst about it. The people that should be feeling the worst are the passionate, loyal season ticket holders. These people are literally putting their money toward this product that they are getting terrible returns for. Ever or TIAA Bank Field should be a party on Sundays. We should all be looking forward to going there. I should be finding reasons to not go to the games as opposed to reasons to stay home. You know what I mean? Because I just don't feel any reason to go out there anymore because I go there, we get whooped, and I come back in a two and a half hour ride home with a headache while watching just a terrible product of football. We are so lucky to have football in Jacksonville and the potential this team has. I just looked the other day and the Buffalo Bills fans are all at the Buffalo airport welcoming Josh Allen and the Bills back home. And everyone's saying, wow, this is such a passionate fan base. The Jaguars are the same type of passionate fan base, but we don't get that kind of respect because our team doesn't win.
Our team doesn't win. And it's holding us back because we are such a great fan base. We are, but we just get the jokes, oh, Jaguars have fans. Oh, I didn't know they existed. This, this, and that. We're out there. It's just, we can't make any noise because we suck. Flat out. The organization sucks, and we needed a full organizational rebuild. Just get all of the stink out. And there's worse things going on than just the roster. The roster's bad, I know. The coaching staff is bad, too. Everything around the organization is bad. I mean, it, it was telling when Josh Lambeau got kicked in the leg. He reported it to the legal team, and they did nothing about it. They looked the other way. That's an organizational problem. Everything around this organization stinks right now. And we're out here trying to hire a head coach. And the head coach that's interviewing knows that, look, this guy is 0 for 4 when it comes to having good relationships with head coaches. Oh, God, it's just... This team affects us so much. It impacts our lives. And we just... I don't know how we keep going, but we do. We do. We are so loyal to this team. We're so passionate. And we want it to be good so bad. Uh, but... This has been terrible, terrible returns. And Trent Baalke isn't great at building a roster. He, he brings in injured players. He brings in, he doesn't have a good track record. He doesn't, he doesn't spend money in free agency. And the Jaguars have plenty of it. He doesn't draft well. It stinks. It's, it's terrible. And I don't know what else to say. I just can't believe this owner is keeping this guy around. You know what I mean? Read a room, everybody, fans. Local media, national media, everybody knows it's the wrong move to keep him. But of course, Shad Khan wants to keep him around. Like, I try not to be so hard on this guy just because, you know, he's a, he's a billionaire. How am I supposed to, me, supposed to be here and criticize a billionaire? But I could do his job better. I legitimately can. God. Ugh. <sighs> I just can't believe it, man. Can't believe it. I'm going to continue to be optimistic, continue to be glass half full. I didn't like the hire last year. I don't like it. I especially don't like it this time around. Things have to change in this organization, and I don't know how much they are with keeping this fraud in the front office. Hopefully, we can bring the right head coach. Hopefully, Trent Baalke knows, look, Trevor Lawrence is the focus. We need to make sure we don't ruin him. Build a good team around him. There's a lot of things that he needs to do. And unfortunately, right now, he's going to be tasked and have a heavy involvement when it comes to deciding who the head coach of this football team is going to be, what the identity of this team is going to be, because we don't have an identity. All the, other, all the other teams around the AFC South have an identity for the most part. The Titans want to be that tough, smash-mouth team that hits you in the mouth. Steps on your throat while you're on the ground. The Colts, very well organized. They build up their trenches very, very well. They know they want to be able to run the ball well. What do the Jags want to do? I don't even know. I don't know what the Jags want to be. But we have to figure it out. What type of football team do we want to be? That's what we're tasked to do. Unfortunately, there's nothing any of us can do. I can, I can say what I want to do. They're probably going to go the other way. That's what typically happens. But... Whatever. Jaguars retain, Jaguars retain Trent Baalke. Let me know what you guys think. As you guys can tell, I'm pissed. I'm not happy. Not at all. I hate losing. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. But all right, guys. Really appreciate you watching the video. Drop a like for me. Tomorrow night, we'll be doing a show on Relevant. Join it. Download the app. Join Jaguars Fanatics for me and Tom McManus at 8 p.m. Eastern time over there. And I'll catch you guys later.